What's up guys? This is a video tutorial for a song Reckless by San Francisco as request by Tron BB Vids. Let's see how this goes. Not a very good teacher in my opinion. So, first off, you want the capo on 6th fret. And I prefer not to use a pick for this song because a lot of it's finger picking. So, let's start off. Pretty much most of the song where it's going. That pattern is in a C shape for your finger as far as the chord goes. Um, so the intro, you're just gonna play the ba two bass notes of a C chord, which is you know the, where the A string and D string are. And then I didn't do it in the cover, but for some variation, you can do the pull on, which is on the D string, just going from open to second fret, and that's I use my middle finger for that, so. the verse starts or the singing you're just gonna take off the bass note which is usually a ring finger and um, play an open string there and that bass line is just going from open to second fret to third fret and that's all in the A string you just keep everything else the same so and you're still just playing the A and D string extra string is the G string and I'm just playing an open on that one that was a B string by the way though. yeah um, you can figure out how you personally want to add in the G or B string during the verses and when you want them to enter in. So that's that's of your own accord. For the chorus or pre-chorus, other stuff, whatever you want to call it, um, the chords, it's just four chords over and over again. It's A minor, F, C, and G. But um, the way I play them, for A minor, it's just a normal A minor shape. For F, I just use the four fingers without playing the bass string. Um, I play top five, and I leave the E string open, like that, I don't know if you can see too well, right. for the C it's just normal, and then for the G I just play the two bass, where your two fingers will go at, um, on E and A normally, and then leave everything open, so all together it should just be A minor, F, C, G. And for most of the chorus and pre-chorus, I just do a one strummer. Alright, um, and then for other parts of it, you can do... That's still the same chord, you're just using a different strum pattern, and what I like to do is... So, um, for the bridge or interlude, whatever you want to call it, it's A minor, and then it's almost like you're playing a G right here, but instead of playing the or putting your finger down as a bar, you just leave those three notes in. And I just go back and forth on that, um, like four times. So. Yeah, four times. And that's a strum pattern I usually use. So A minor, and then the weird almost G chord. A minor, 
weird mm. G chord. Okay, and for the end of the song, after the chorus, you're going to go back to the a weird um, bridge chords, I guess. Mm. And then back to the C chord. And when you do that, you want to start off with an open um, bass note because it sounds weird when you do it with a C and it's the way the song plays it. One second. You start, so you start off. end it with the one strum on the C. So the ending should look. Sorry it's not the most professional tutorial video, but hopefully you'll be able to learn the song with that, and um, I really hope you do because it's an awesome song. Thank you.